bass and back talk are is one of the or are some of the behaviors that really drive my clients bonkers. I'm Susan Morley. I make being a mom easier, and this is parenting tips in seven minutes or less. So here's the thing: when I hear my clients say, uh, "I I told my kid to empty the dishwasher," just like you told me, just like you told me, I told them to empty the dishwasher, and they walked into the kitchen mumbling under their breath or. Uh, my favorite was one I did a video on. Uh, I'm not your butler. You're my butler. But they still go and empty the dishwasher. Or maybe they're um, a teenager saying, um, this is stupid. None of my friends have to do chores. Uh, maybe they say, uh, I hate you. Maybe they say, you're a terrible, you're a terrible mom. I will never make my kids do chores. Any number of those back talks, uh, I'm going to talk today about how to respond to it and what to do about it. So the first thing is, um, I spend some time with my clients teaching them how to talk to their kids so that their kids listen to their directions the first time. And this is really important because when we as parents become nags, and we remind all the time, and we give so many different chances, then what happens is that our children learn it's not necessary to listen the first time because my mom will keep reminding me and telling me, and so maybe it's the 10th time I have to listen. So when we tell our children what to do, it is important to be firm, to use, um, as I, I stole this phrase, an economy of words. So don't go into those long, oh, I know you're in the middle of your iPad or your TikTok time, and I hate to interrupt you, but it would really be helpful if you would just please help me out a little. I mean, I do a lot for you, so I'm only asking you to, no, that is way too much. Children, even teenagers, just need very clear, very direct instructions. So it sounds like this. And, and I, I call it alpha speech because you're alpha, okay? So we're not going to live up here in our voice. We're going to come down here. And we're going to say, Susie, stop what you're doing. Go empty the dishwasher. I'll be back in 10 minutes to be sure that it's done. And then leave the room. You got to walk away. You can't stand there and wait for the reaction. So once you get master that, that alpha speech, you walk away. When you're walking away, you may hear, eh, that's stupid. I hate doing this pressure. I'm not going to stop. I'm going to keep watching TikTok. Your job is to stay quiet. Don't worry about it. Just come back in the 10 minutes to see that the job is done. And maybe it's not done, but that's another video for another day. So the reason why we're not responding, and in the beginning of this video, I talked about how, um, you know, this is all this little, all the things that they're saying. What I like to call that is white noise, or you can call it static, like on the radio dial, shh, it's static. It doesn't mean anything. It's not, it's not helpful at all. The trick is if the child is still doing the instruction, if that dishwasher is getting unloaded and they are mumbling under their breath and they're rolling their eyes and they're mad at you and saying you're a terrible mother, ignore it. Ignore it. <gasps> Oh, but it's disrespectful. I'm their mom. They should respect me. No. The point is that you want your children to follow your directions the first time. And if they are doing what you told them to do the first time, it's a victory for you. That's a victory. Don't worry about the teeny tiny back talk or the little bit of grumbling because that that that's beside the point. They are respecting your authority. They just don't like 
doing it. When you and I have had a boss have told us to do something. And as soon as our boss turns around, we're like, mm, you know, we don't like it. That's okay. We're still going to do it because we have to, because they're our boss and they are still unloading the dishwasher. So keep your eye on the prize. Speak in that alpha tone because that is going to get you where you want to be, where you're not having to nag or remind because your child is listening the first time. Okay. I hope that's helpful. I hope you guys have a great day. I need to figure out how to end this call. And uh, you can always click on the banner above on the bottom right hand side of my banner and get my six steps to have your children. Have a great day. Bye bye.